Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ali. I hope you guys are having a great day today. There's been a lot of hype and a lot of excitement over a firm stock. We have very famous YouTubers like Meet Kevin touting that they've bought $600,000 worth of this specific company. And of course, we've had really fantastic news about a partnership with Amazon that could really change the future of this company. And considering the fact that a firm stock has almost doubled in the past couple of weeks, in today's video, we're gonna take an in-depth look at the Q4 2021 results for a firm stock. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna project a conservative and also a bullish view on the future of this company. We're gonna see what the potential return could be in the future. All the numbers that I'll be using to make my projections are gonna be based on the Q4 2021 results that were posted a couple of days ago from the company directly. These projections are gonna be very detailed and for serious investors, I'm confident that this video is gonna bring you a ton of value. Let's not beat around the bush. Let's get straight into the video. A firm stock, as I'm filming this right now, is up close to 87% over the past month. If we go even all the way back to August the 18th, it was trading at around $64 American, and now we're all the way up to around $123 American. So we've had an absolutely insane run up in this specific stock. A lot of it does have to do with excitement from YouTubers, and also we've seen an Amazon partnership come into play that could really potentially uh, 10X the revenues of this company company. And it makes sense why this stock has really gained a lot of attention. But at $123 per share, has a lot of the good news been built in already? Well, let's take a look. Right now, the current market capitalization for a firm stock is around $40 billion, which is incredible considering the fact that this did IPO at only $10 billion. So it's almost 4x since the time of inception, which is absolutely astronomical. The whole point of this video is to give you some perspective so you can really understand what the true value of this stock is. I appreciate that a lot of you are not millionaires and you do wanna be protective and also strategic with the companies that you invest in, just like me. I'm also gonna assume that you have a basic understanding about this company and what they do, so I'm not gonna waste a lot of time on that. Let's start off with the key highlights from the Q4 2021 results. The numbers and data that I'll be using today for my projections is coming directly from a firm. It's not coming from a forum and it's not coming from some YouTuber. It's coming directly from the company. So these numbers should be incredibly accurate. On September the 9th, a firm reports fourth quarter and fiscal year 2021 results. Let's take a quick look. A firm posted a Q4 2021 earnings supplement, which was posted again on September the 9th. If we go to page number five, we can see something very significant when it comes to gross merchandise volume, which exploded from 1.2 billion up to 2.484 billion. That's year over year. That type of growth is absolutely incredible. And this information can also be confirmed with their financial releases. We can see right here back in 2020, it was 1.2 billion and now we're at 2.5 billion, which is absolutely amazing. On top of that, active users that are using the platform have also gone up quite substantially too. Back in 2020 of Q4, it was around 3.6 million. Remember, this is a complete fiscal year, so one year. It's up close to 7.1 million. We've also seen a lot of growth when it comes to active users. Most importantly, when it comes to revenue over the fiscal year, back in 2020, it was around 153 million, and we are currently at 262 million. That's also substantial growth. And this information is also reinstated. Based on the supplement that we mentioned, if we go back to page number seven, we can see on Q4 of 2020, we were sitting at $1.2 billion when it comes to gross merchandise volume. And if we go all the way to Q4 of 2021, it's currently at 2.484 billion. So a really substantial growth. In Q4 of 2020, we were at 3.618 million active users. And if we go all the way to Q4 of 2021, we are around 7.121 million. That's a growth of around almost 100%, which is awesome. Revenue has also exploded. As I mentioned, back in Q4 of 2020, revenue was around 153 million. And if we go to Q4 of 2021, it's around 262. That's a growth of around 71%. Active merchants have also exploded. Back in 2020 of June 30th, we can see that active merchants were around 5.7 thousand, so 5,700. And right now, based on June 30th of 2021, we are up close to 412% at 29,000 active merchants. This is absolutely insane. Take into consideration, guys, these numbers do not reflect the Amazon partnership. So these have nothing to do with Amazon. And that's a big reason why the stock is up so much in the past couple of weeks. It's really important to stress this. The company has not included estimates of potential contributions to the gross merchandise volume or revenue from recently announced partnership 
with Amazon, which is currently being tested with select customers. The company plans to provide additional detail on the financial impact of the partnership in subsequent quarters. So this has nothing to do with Amazon yet. So these numbers are really, really strong. In this portion, we're gonna to switch to some fundamental analysis. Now that we've established the company is really showing fantastic growth. Using guidance that was provided to us by a firm, we're gonna establish what type of return that we can see in the future for a firm stock. This portion is going to be very detailed, so I hope you guys appreciate the work that was put into this. First things first, what could a firm actually be worth? We'll need the data from Q4 of 2021 that was released to us. And of course, I do have both these tabs open so we can rely on them to make sure that these numbers are accurate. And we're also going to need the current stock price, the shares outstanding, and also the market capitalizations to base these numbers off of. So here's what we currently know. We know that the current stock price is $123.70. We also need to know what the shares outstanding are for the company so we can really figure out an accurate market capitalization. And this was provided to us by a firm. Shares outstanding for this company are going to be taken directly from the Q4 2021 earnings supplement, which was posted on September the 9th. If we go all the way down to page 2018, we see that fully diluted shares outstanding based on June 30th of 2021 is around 317 million shares outstanding. That's very, very important because most other websites are giving an inaccurate figure when it comes to actual shares outstanding. So this is really important for us. A simple calculation to figure out what the market capitalization or the actual value of the company is based on Friday's close is simply $123.70 per share times 317 million shares outstanding based on what a firm had given us puts us at a valuation of around $39.2 billion American. So that's very, very important. If we go to yahoo.com, we'll notice that the market capitalization has not been updated based on the most recent diluted shares that were given to us by the company. It currently mentioned that the market cap is around 33 billion, which is way off from 39 billion. So take that into consideration. So we've established the number of shares, the stock price, and we also established the market capitalization. Now let's take a look at 2019 revenues and 2020 revenues. We know that 2019 revenue was around 510 million, and we know that 2020 revenues was around 870 million USD. Let's confirm that very quickly. Of course, a firm did provide us with these important metrics. We can see right now, based on 2021 metrics that were provided to us, we see that revenues were around 870 million USD. And of course, in the previous fiscal year, we were at 510 million USD for revenues. This is provided to us right here. So that's really great. So we know that those numbers are accurate. $510 million in revenue to $870 million in revenue gives us an increase of around 70% year over year which is really, really impressive. Revenues are going up, which is awesome, but keep in mind this company is still not profitable, and we can also confirm this too. Using the Q4 2021 earnings supplement that was provided to us, if we go all the way down to page 22, we see all this information summarized for us in a pretty organized fashion. We know that the company is predicted to lose anywhere from 68 million to 63 million for the fiscal year. And if we go to 2022, the next fiscal year, the company is still projected to lose anywhere from 145 million to 135 million dollars American. So they are predicted to still not be profitable in the next upcoming year. So that's very important for you to appreciate. It's not just about revenues, but at the end of the day, it's about net profitability and they are not yet profitable. But they mention this specifically right here at the bottom. They say that the company has not included estimates of potential contributions to GMV or revenue from the recently announced partnership with Amazon, which is currently being tested with select customers. So take that into consideration. In my opinion, eventually this company is going to become profitable, obviously. A firm right now is guiding for around a 37.5% growth year over year when it comes to revenues. In my opinion, obviously this doesn't include Amazon, but also I think the company is really just managing expectations and in a way sandbagging. So let's be a bit more enthusiastic and let's round up. Let's go to 40%. So we're assuming that the company next year is going to grow 40% when it comes to revenues. Using all the information that we've presented above, let's break it down into a conservative and also to an enthusiastic or bullish estimate. If we take the current $870 million in revenue and we assume a growth rate of 40%, that'll put the hypothetical revenue for next year at around $1.2 billion. Keep in mind, this is conservative. Let's say that the company achieves a 20% optimized margin, which is really not that conservative. In my opinion, that's really sandbagging. That should be easily achievable for this company. But again, we do want to keep this as a base projection. So 20% optimized margin. 
That puts the implied operating profit around 244 million net earnings after a 25% corporate tax, which is typical in the US. That puts us down at $183 million. That puts the implied earning multiple at around 212X. And that's expected because this company is obviously going to see a ton of growth in the future. If you hold the stock for five years, so you hold this company for five years, with the 40% year over year over year when it comes to revenues, that'll put the estimated revenues at 2026 at around $6.5 billion American. That puts the multiple at 5.4, which is pretty realistic. That results in an implied operating profit of around $1.3 billion net earnings of 983 million with an assumed multiple of 30X, which again is very, very conservative for stocks in this space. That puts the end valuation at around $29.5 billion. So using these figures that were guided to us by the company, and even though these are conservative, that puts us at a potential decline of around 24 to 25% based on the current stock price. So even if we are conservative right now based on the current stock price, uh, this is considered to be a very rich valuation just based on what it's trading at right now. Now, obviously a couple months back when the company was trading at around 50 to $60, you can definitely make an argument based on that and say that the company was undervalued. But since the company has gone up so much right now, based on these guided conservative figures, it really looks like a firm stock is priced in for perfection. So keep an eye open, but also take into consideration, this is the conservative model and it doesn't include all the growth that we could potentially see from Amazon. So now instead of going conservative, let's go for a bullish view. Okay, so on the left side, this was the conservative version. On the right side is where we're gonna see the bullish projection. Instead of 40%, we're going to go for 50%. That puts the estimated revenue for next year at around $1.4 billion. Okay. So that's a big difference. What I'm also going to do instead of a 20% operating margin, I'm going to go for a 30% operating margin, which is also in my opinion, doable for this company. So they're going to make a lot more profit on their margins, which is really, really important. That puts the implied operating profit at around $418 million. That puts net earnings after the 25% corporate tax at 313 million. That puts the implied earning multiple at around 124. Most importantly, if you hold the stock for the next five years, and let's say that they grow at a rate of 55%, which is in my opinion, very bullish. It's bullish, but it's doable, which is important. At 55% year over year over year for revenues, that'll put the 2026 estimated revenue at around $12.5 billion, which is fantastic. That puts the multiple based on the current revenues that we have right now at around 8.9X. The implied operating profit based on those figures puts us at $3.7 billion American net earnings at 2.8 billion with an assumed multiple of 40X. So we're assuming that this company is gonna grow far further into the future, which should be expected, especially on the back of this Amazon deal. That'll put the end valuation at around 112 billion dollars American with a potential upside of 187% from today's current stock price, which is a potential triple over the next couple of years, which in my opinion is a solid return. Now, these figures are only projections. You can go ahead and change the margins that you want, the revenues that you want. But in my opinion, I think it's very doable for us to see this bullish projection come into play. With that being said, based on the current stock price that is trading at right now, I wouldn't be a buyer necessarily at this price. I would like to see the stock price cool down because right now I think a lot of the upside has been priced in for the short term at least. There's been a lot of hype, a lot of excitement, and a lot of short term traders that have really boosted the price. If it was trading at around $50 to $60 per share, this would honestly be a no brainer, especially with the Amazon deal. But right now I would be waiting until we see some sort of a significant dip in a firm stock until I would even start a position. Uh, I hope you guys don't take offense to this. Again, uh, this is what I think is the potential value for this company. This is not financial advice. Make sure that you do your own research and all due diligence. And I hope you guys have tremendous success. Guys, thank you so much for taking your time. If you did find value out of this, just give me a like. It's gonna help my channel and it's also gonna help the YouTube algorithm too. Anyways guys, have an awesome night and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.